hello welcome back to my kitchen again today we are making dawa dawa jollof if you've not tried dawa dawa in your jollof give this recipe a try and let me know in the comment section below what you think about it thank you so much for stopping by on my channel if it's your first time watching my videos welcome 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 i have other videos that you can check it out and don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're a continuing subscriber thank you so much for being around with me till now if you want to know how i made this year malicious goodness stay tuned till the end of this video as always you know my recipes are simple and easy to follow i'll leave the list of ingredients in the description box down below so please do feel free to check it out welcome to lamy cooks let me go ahead and introduce the ingredients so i'll need some onions some tomatoes some crushed green pepper back which that i've crushed i'll need some tomato paste some smoked tuna some dried smoked herrings i have here some jollof seasoning a friend gave to me and i decided to try it on this recipe and i have the star of this dish the dawa dawa and of course the rice i'm using um, jasmine rice but you can use the local rice if you have it if you don't have it use the jasmine rice and it's fine as i do always let me go ahead and prep my ingredients this jollof everything is chopped so i don't intend to use any blender so i'm going to chop my onions and my tomatoes all together I'm not going to remove the seeds from the tomatoes but if you wish you can do that and to be honest if you want you can blend everything together it's okay I just prefer my chopped instead of blending it now that I've prepped everything I'm going to heat my oil in a pot and then I'll add my onions give it a stir until the onions are softened up you can do this for about two to three minutes because i cut the onions a bit big so i want to fry it until it's a little bit soft then i'll go ahead and add my dawa 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 goes in very early because you want the flavor to be intense so you start cooking it very early so that you get the real dawa dawa at this moment my kitchen smells so delicious if you've used dawa dawa to cook before you know what i'm talking about i'll go ahead and then add my chopped tomatoes give it a stir and then add my crushed uh bakushito or crushed green pepper i'll also go in straight with my tomato paste a little bit goes a long way in this recipe so don't put too much tomato paste in the jollof i'll cover it and let it cook for about 10 minutes because the tomatoes and the onions were chopped you want it to cook until it's soft so i'll cook it for about 10 minutes It's been 10 minutes and because I did not blend my vegetables, I can see it's a little bit dry. If you blended your vegetables, your, I mean your tomatoes and your onions, you can skip this step. But I'll add a little bit water just to make sure my tomato and the onions are soft. And as well, my tomatoes was the hard one. I couldn't get a soft one. So it's quite hard. So I added like a cup of water just to make sure the tomato is cooked well. But if you blended yours, you can skip the water step. I have cooked it down for about 10 minutes and it's time to introduce the herrings, the dried smoked herrings, because you know it's a little bit hard. So you need to introduce it in a bit early so it can soak all the juices and everything can just get, you know, to know each other yeah <laughs> and don't forget to stir it in between to avoid your 
uh, stew from sticking to the bottom of the pan. At this stage, I'll go ahead and add my jollof seasoning. Remember the jollof seasoning I talked to you about? Yes, I just wanted to give it a try. It looked good. I tasted it. It was okay. So I wanted to give it a try. So I'll add the jollof seasoning. This is optional. You can use your regular shrimp tablet or shrimp seasoning that you have. But I decided to use this instead of the uh, shrimp seasoning. I have cooked it down. You can tell there is little oil less water in the stew now so at this stage i'll go ahead and add my tuna now the tuna goes in a bit late because you can easily break it apart and it's already cooked since it's smoked so i'll put it in just before i add the water for the jollof after five minutes you can see the stew has little or no water in it at all. At this stage, I'll go ahead and then add my water to cook the rice. So I initially started with two cups because I realized the jasmine rice I have here is quite soft. So if you put too much water, you end up reducing the whole stock and then it alters the taste of your jollof. So I'd rather put it in bit by bit. So if I need more water, I'll add instead of putting too much and then you'd have to reduce the water which takes away the, the yumminess and the stock, basically the stock of the jollof. It will not let your jollof taste good. So I prefer to put it bit by bit. It works perfect for me. And I'll let the water start boiling before I add my rice. I have my water boiling so I'll then go ahead and add my washed rice. I only add salt after I've added the rice. I don't know but this is how I do my cooking. I usually add my salt if you realize I add my salt very late in the cooking process. So this is when I'll taste it and then know the exact amount of um, salt i would have to add so i taste it first and then i'll add i don't want to put too much salt then after i add the salt i'll taste it again to see if it's okay i'll then cover it reduce the heat and let it cook slowly i'll check the water level as well if i need to add more or not After cooking for about 7 minutes, I will check the rice and you can see the rice has absorbed all the liquid and it's still a little bit hard. So I'll go ahead and add another cup of water to the rice and give it a stir and then at this stage I will cover it with the parchment paper or if you have a kitchen napkin or anything, just cover it and reduce the heat further so that it will cook slowly. I will let the rice steam for about 5 to 7 minutes and I'll check on it later. Have you liked this video yet? Please hit on the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like what I do. That gives me a lot of motivation to do more. I'm checking in between now to make sure all the grains are steeped properly. I'll check the grains and see if it's cooked. If it's not, I'll cover it again and then let it steam for another 5-7 to seven minutes on a very very low heat. It's been another seven minutes. Let's check on the dawa dawa jollof. Yes, <laughs> where are you? I wish you were in my kitchen right now. Whilst I'm opening this, the aroma, mm. yummy, delicious goodness. Ooh, 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 look at the grains. Wow. Guys, I wish I can invite you, but you know, we'll do a virtual, uh, how do you call it? A virtual dinner. We'll have a virtual dinner. So everyone will cook this jollof and they will all do it virtually <laughs> you can see the amani or the herrings in the 
you can see the smoked tuna in there yum 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 if you're not a meat eater this recipe is for you if you just eat fish this recipe is for you you know what i can't wait any longer so let me just serve myself and i'll see you later thank you so much for watching till now if you've not subscribed make sure you do so and click on the like button for me yay until i come your way again with another yummy delicious recipe stay tuned take good care of yourself stay safe bye